Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, in many of my videos, I've actually told you that implementing end-to-end -end data science project is super important for cracking data science interviews because the interviewer will get to know that which all modules you have specifically worked. Yes, there are many people who work absolutely fine in all the modules, but in one module that is in the data collection strategies, they have a lot of confusion. They're still dependent on open source data sets and data sets from Kaggle. So today in this particular video, I'm going to introduce you about one API that is called as Rapid API from where you can probably explore a lot of data sets which are publicly available and you can actually create a lot of data pipeline architecture like taking that but from that particular API, taking up the data and storing it in some databases. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end because data collection strategies is also very important. Identifying data set is also very important. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's go ahead and let me share my screen over here. So uh, I've already made sure that I've explained to you about the data science roadmap uh, just recently, uh, two to three days back. But first of all, let's understand the work of a data scientist. So guys, initially when a data science project is basically coming, the first step is basically requirement gatherings, where the domain expert is a product owner team, along with the business analyst team will have a lot of discussion. They will jot down all the requirements, use some tools like Jira or Confluence, divide all the task and subtask in sprints, and then they will provide all these requirements to the data analyst and data scientist team, which is in this step two. Then this with the domain expert and product owner will have a discussion to identify the data set to solve this particular problem. They may be dependent on the internal database or they may be dependent on the third party cloud API. Right now, when I say third party cloud API, many people have actually asked me, what is this third party cloud API private? Uh, like it will also be paid. So what are this specific data? Can, there are multiple ways, guys. You can also probably create your own IoT team and probably start creating the data set with respect to your products and do it. But there are many business use cases that are common, right? In service based companies, you may get projects from different, different sectors itself. And based on that, your data may be changing, right? Now, with respect to that, I have actually checked out this rapid API platform, wherein you will be able to see some amazing public data set. Again, guys, this is not a sponsored video, but I was able to find it out. And this will be super important for you all to solve different, different use cases. So over here, what you can basically do just log in over here. And with respect to the login, like Google login, you can actually do and after going over here, here you'll be able to see public APIs and private APIs. Private APIs basically means you can also create your API and you can probably do it or, or uh, upload it over here, right? And uh, basically like you're creating a API, deploying it in a cloud and you can put that specific API over here. If you want that specific video also, you can let me know. Just in a couple of days, I'll also try to upload that particular video. So just write down in the comment how to create your own private API and how to publish in the rapid API. But other than that, suppose if you want to play with public API, you can go over here. So let's say that I want to try any of the specific APIs. Let's say with respect to COVID-19, I'm actually getting this particular API. And now this particular API will get loaded here. You will get everything like what all API is being provided over here. You can have country statistics history. And over here, you basically have the code snippet. Suppose let's say if I go to Python and probably just select on request. I, and this is also having all the other programming language. You can probably get the entire code itself. And let's say this is the code I want to run. And here I can also test it with test endpoints. Okay. So once I test it, you can see that I'm getting all the information, right? So suppose if I probably go in the code snippet, I take this up and what I do, I go over here in my VS code. I will just go and execute it. I will clear my screen. Okay. And after clearing my screen, I'll just save it over here and I will write Python app.py, right? So here you'll be able to see that I will be also able to get the output. Now this entire information, I can probably store it in the database or take it in any kind of database like NoSQL, SQL database. It is up to you based on the requirement. But here am I able to get the entire output from that specific API. So my data collection strategies now becomes very simple, right? I don't have to be dependent on anything else. I And this also looks amazing because this is what in the real world scenario also we do. 
in industry ready pro when when you are solving some industry ready projects we have to be dependent on third party apis because this apis will continuously giving us data with respect to dates right not only that let's say i want to try with statistics now you just see i clicked on statistics the entire code changed i'm just going to copy the code you can also test the endpoint over here and based on the test i will be able to get the, all the answers you can see that i'm getting with respect to every country and countries how many cases were there how many deaths were there how many tests are there everything right so i will just go ahead and execute it over here same code i'll paste it over here save it and then i will just go and clear the screen now see this how easily i'm able to use this entire rapid api right so i'm just going to write python app.py and finally you'll be able to see i'm getting all the output now what i can do i can probably take this output do some pre-processing and store it in the mongodb right it is obviously in the json format if you directly put in the mongodb you will be able to get the output like this only right with also respect to all the records right this is how you can basically try it out again guys here you also have paid api so suppose if i probably go to rapid api i want something else let's say free public api for developers so here i have top 50 most popular apis right you have api football movie database now see many many of you implement movie recommendation system why can't you directly use the movie database from here and from there the data collection strategy is more about reading from some apis storing it in the data databases doing some pre-processing and all see now here you have bloomberg market and in, uh, financial news api documentation let's try this also uh, we have cloned this api to another at this 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 api itself now here you can see here you have market information get movers get cross currencies let's say i want to get cross currencies okay and i will probably go and uh, just go ahead and get the python code so this is my python code you can see from this particular url we are able to get by using this rapid api key right and the best thing is that you can also create your own and you can also get paid from this right because there are some requests with respect to that let me just check one more thing over here i have to subscribe to this particular test so once i subscribe it here you can see basics pro ultra mega is there if you probably create your own api you can also sell it it okay and uh, with the help of chat gpt i think it will become very easy so i'm subscribing to the free one now i have the code i'm executing it over here now let's see whether i'll get the output or not okay so i'll just go over here i will clear the screen and here is my python app.py so finally you'll be able to see i'm getting all the output right isn't it very easy you just need to do one or two rounds of processing to get the data in the right format and probably directly use it so with respect to this query string all this querencies i'm able to get all the information right so uh I hope you are able to understand guys now if i go to back to all the plans and probably if i go to endpoints here you will be able to also test it out entirely so any apis over here will be there uh, just let me know whether you want to know that how you can probably earn money from this uh, because you can also create your own api and probably deploy it in some server and put it over here right not only this i have news 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 list news list by region stories list so if i probably also execute this i will also be able to get the information suppose if i'm solving any use case i'm able to solve most of the things right so here it is very simple very easy and this actually looks like a real world industry project right so i'm just going to clear it let me just make my face go over here right and here you have python app.py right and i'll get the response.txt and probably i can also get it in the json format or however i want see all the links everything is basically over here this news article is basically coming i can also open it over here and see all the information everything is there right so this is how you can easily work on the data store uh, data collection strategy itself you can design it you can use database now you're probably thinking like you're continuously getting the data you can also create a cron job every day uh probably at some specific time you just check the new status and probably upload it in the database and use it right so this is an amazing way to check it out rapid api uh, again this is not a sponsored video but yes i found out this a good way of actually showcasing your experience even in companies if you are probably using it try to use the public api and then try to take the pricing itself based on the api set right so this was it from my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you wonderful bye bye